Hello friends, I'm Surat Singh. We are looking for reading material. Don't go anywhere. You will get it right here. Diagnostic tool. We are going to discuss about a diagnostic tool. Now, what is diagnostic tool? It is used to assess the disorder. We are going to discuss few diagnostic tool which is used in autism spectrum disorder. We have already discussed few of them in my last video. You can check it out. That was on ADOS, ASDS, and RADS. That is Rito Autism Asperger Diagnostic Syndrome. Today we are going to focus on CARS, yes, Childhood Autism Rating Scale, and second edition of your CARS, and then ABC Behavior Checklist. That is Autism Behavior Checklist. Let us understand Autism Behavior Rating Scale. We are not going to discuss in detail we are going to just see a brief of cars what does it means so that at least you have some knowledge on assessing with childhood autism rating scale see this is a behavior rating scale which helps to diagnose which helps to differentiate the children with autism from those with other developmental delay such as intellectual disability, emotional disability, or any other developmental delay. It was developed by the Eric Scoper, Robert, J. Richard, and Barbara Rochin. And these cars was developed 20 years ago. You have a latest model as well. I have given the link in description. You can just download it. And then the age range, you can use this cars across all the ages it will take you around 20 to 40 minutes to administer it has a different behavioral item arising around uh, 15 uh, items it is included let us see what are these relating to people imitation emotional responses body use object use then you have adaptation to change then visual responses listening responses taste smell and touch response and the uses fear and nervousness verbal communication non-verbal communication activity level level and consistency of intellectual responses and last you have general impression so these are the items 15 items which you are going to assess in the child and find out where my child stands in coming slides we will see your uh, one example we will take one example and it will try to understand better how we observe and rating sc scales see uh, psychological testing classroom participation parent report and history card is important to observe and then decide your rating without psychological test without knowing the level of the children you cannot make the report so you know the level of participation in the classroom what is the parental feedback and what is the history record like a uh, school history medical history the intervention histories these all stuffs is important to make the report and clarify that your child have this level of functioning then rating should not be made until after the data collection is completed as it is clearly mentioned without completion of data you cannot write the report you cannot give your recommendation by saying that my child is diagnosed with this particular characteristics child behavior should be compared to that of typical child of the same age to find out the skills the strength the weaknesses of the child anecdotal data is very very important it should be recorded on frequency basis intensity basis what is the duration it is just like you need to keep your te uh, notebook and just write down what is the behavior of the child at that particular time at that particular situation and that place that observations you need to mention in anecdotal record which because it will help you directly in writing the report familiar with the definition yes this is very very important you have to understand your 
a family uh, your, your your definition your skills so that you know he can or you can identify that very very easily you need to describe it you need to describe it very clearly so that you you know you are not facing any difficulty to finding out the uh, correct rustics then rating you have to rate from one to four as given in the checklist between one to four that is midpoint then scoring the total score is summed by 15 individual rating that means 15 items you need to score the total score is 15 to 60 and the score plays an individual within the diagnostic categorization system this that tells you very clearly that your child is non-autistic or mild moderate or severe so this is very very important you know when you score and find out okay so let us see some examples as i said you earlier see object use object use is your uh, one item out of 15 so as I, I was talking about definition the child interest in toys or object how he is going to use them so this is a definition of that object use so you need to identify very clear you need to define yourself very clearly what is the child interest once you have defined this then you have to remember remember unstructured time the object the use of that object how he is applying in, in unstructured uh, situation in un uh, unstructured time and then use after given a model when you give certain object how he is using it in his day-to-day -day activity then level of interest oh he don't like on this object or he don't like to play with this object so you know the lack of excessiveness what you need to just answer this question then use of toys in a appropriate or inappropriate way where the toy which you have given it has been used properly it has been used or thrown away so make sure that you keep in your mind when you define your you know the items then imitation now imitation is almost important here also you need to clearly define how the child imitates verbal non-verbal so you need to just define you need to understand whether my child imitates verbal or non-verbal if once you have defined then keep in your mind behavior to be imitated should be within the child's ability if the child don't have an ability it will be very difficult in his future sound words motor movement written model unwilling or unable to imitate latency in responding whether the child is late in responding or not you all need to keep in your mind before you move to further to perform or to you know indulge in some other activity then visual responses this is one more example um, rating of unusual visual attention pattern when required to look at object so how you're going to rate see all this definition you need to un uh, understand and then rate so keep in mind what you will keep in mind while doing the visual responses observation see whether he's avoiding the eye contact or making through a corner of eyes or how often must the child be promoted to make the eye contact or how intrusive must those prompt get to achieve the eye contact so all these things you need to just check it out now let us move to the child autism rating scale of second edition here uh, we are going to see what is cars 2 see uh, here the ch cars 2 is nothing but a second edition which helps to identify with autism and determine the symptoms severity through the quantifiable rating based on direct observation so you need to just remember this is based on the direct observation direct observation 
It was developed by Scooper, Van Royden, Wellman, and Lot in 2010. So it's the latest. Uh, your cars too. And the age range is two years and up to you can use about two years as they have mentioned. And in this format, you have two 15 rating scale. One rating scale is for clinician and other one is for parent or caregivers. It will take you around 10 to 15 minutes to administer. administer. And what are the benefit you get here? Helps to identify the children with autism and determine symptom severity through the quantifiable rating based on the direct observation. So this is just a brief of your CARS 2. Uh, we will move to other one that is autism behavior checklist. Here in autism behavior checklist, they have a list of questions about the child behavior. You will get around 57 questions in ABC checklist. So it was a part of a broader tool. It is very broad an autism screening instrument for educational planning with the help of this you can also plan the child's program it is developed by Krug et al that means there are more than uh, three four researchers involving it was published in year 2008 and the main purpose is to find out the behavioral and emotional problem of the child the age range is around to 14 years and administration time here it will take hardly 20 to 40 minutes to administer this checklist not more than that so as I said to you we have total 57 empirical derived questions and how we're going to score this see here just remember you know 54 to 67 points are considered to be a moderate probability of disorders. If there is a point 47 to 53 points, that means the child may be, uh, there, there's some doubt where the child is moderate, severe, and if the score is below 47, that means the child don't have autism. I'll show you the checklist here. As you can see, these are the checklist. This is the checklist. Uh, and there is a series of questions here and here these are the domains so SS means your sensorial stimulus RE means your uh, relationship BO is your use of body and object LG is language and P is your personal and social development now see here you have you know they have written some numbers two three three four so let us say ss that means sensorial stimulus sensorial stimulus that means question number six question number 10 question number here 21 so this question belong to this domain so what are you going to do see you have total 57 see 57 items so if the child if the child uh, you know have let us say difficulties with toilet training if he has a difficulty just circle one if you don't have a difficulty don't circle just leave it off then for example let us say this one uh, sorry let us say this one repeat sound or word over over again so what you have you have to you know circle this once you have finished observing then you have to write the total let us say four three three four total four four three total so total if you get as we have mentioned earlier 57 to 68 point that means the child may have a moderate or mild autism if it is less than 47 if if you add all this score and if you get 47 then less than the child may not have autism spectrum disorder or any characteristics of autism so that's it about the autism behavior checklist and your cars and cars too so hopefully i think you have understood it is it as i said you this is just a basic understanding of the cars i have given a link below you can just 
click it and find out the checklist you can just practice and finally if it was helpful please like share comment and subscribe for now thank you and bye bye